everyone and welcome to today's episode of Daily Scuba News. So divers are often surprised why dive centers don't just take in their empty cylinders with open arms and fill them up with compressed air without any question. I think it's only right. Why? It's, it's completely empty. Exactly. All you can do with it is fill it up with exactly. air. Exactly. <laughs> Well, Somerset-based Dive Centre Dive Academy found out the hard way the risks of filling empty cylinders without double-checking the inside condition first. Naughty, naughty. Luckily, no one was hurt, but new procedures and guidelines are being put into place for everyone's safety. So in mid-May, a diver, or diver Adrian Dupe, I believe, that's how, well, that's how I'm going to say it, reportedly uh, came into dive, the, the Dive Academy with a white three-litre pony you know, just for standard air fill. Uh, but when the staff member was filling it, they noticed, you know, blistering under the paint, which actually isn't unusual. But when gas actually started leaking through the wall of the cylinder, yeah. from under the paint, obviously, you know, naturally he stopped immediately. So uh, what Adrian hadn't told them was that he took the pony on a dive with him when it was empty with the valve open. Uh, obviously water got into his cylinder and as everybody should know, water plus steel makes rust. Instead of going straight to the dive center to fix the problem, he just left it for a few months <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> Oh, he's not diving over the winter period. What an idiot! Uh, and then <laughs> took it in for an air fill. Oh dear. While the staff member couldn't exactly confiscate the cylinder, they did manage to write on it, Danger, uh, do not fill in an attempt to warn any other dive or any other fillers. Uh, you know, of the potential Dana. danger. That's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Anyway, after some detective work, the dive centre managed to track down the customer uh, and contact the, them so, you know, they can bring the cylinder in for inspection. Yeah, so here is the inside of the cylinder in question. Uh, now, what you should normally see is a fairly dull but clean metallic chamber. But what we see here is more akin to the inside of an old metal drain pipe. Uh, the customer again refused to have his cylinder confiscated and destroyed as it should be, uh, but he did promise to have it destroyed himself. Uh, so if you are filling cylinders and you do come across a white three litre uh, that's completely empty, you know, just double check it first, just, just in Especially case. Especially in the base or where it's blistering as a plaster. It's just stuck a plaster over the hole. <laughs> anyway, after this, Dive Academy have introduced a new policy uh, that any cylinder with less than 20 bar inside will be subject to a £10 inspection before it's filled for safety. Makes sense. Meh. Why not? Why not? And I'm on, the, I'm on their side. Yeah, I'm on their side. Even though Mark wrote this, so you're on their <laughs> side. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I'm on their side. Uh, I've filled countless of cylinders. Actually, technically, I have filled yeah, countless you of have cylinders. I've, I do not like that compressor. It scares the living bejeebas out of me. Especially on multiple diet. Like, someone comes in with multiple cylinders. Yeah, filling the cylinders. Filled, yeah. yeah it, it should be a little bit scary because they are literal bombs. Yep. Because if something goes wrong, then yeah, it's whoever's filling it up that's gonna get hurt. But yeah, it's dangerous because you just don't know the conditions of the cylinder from a glance, uh, you know, obviously from what they look like on the outside. And it doesn't matter when it was last tested because anything could have happened between then and now. Yeah, it's like an MOT on a car. It was like, great, it was fine when they tested it, but six months down the road, could have done whatever you want. Yeah, it's, I know what you, MOT. Yeah. Uh, uh, but what do you boys and girls think? Uh, is it going to just cause grief at the pump, this new uh, sort of guideline if it's below 20 bar? Uh, it's, I'd rather it be safe than sorry. That's it, it's, it's for safety. Mm. Um, Considering but, I've worked with compressors, as that, just, just if that was me and I hooked it up, I would have, I would have just rubbed it left. I'm like, <laughs> see you later, I'm supposed to deal with this. Pump. Yeah. Um, but what do you think? Is 20 bar a sensible minimum? Um, I mean, it's rare that I've had a cylinder down to 20 bar, but I don't know. Let's discuss cylinder safety in the comments. Uh, if you like this kind of scuba news, then hit that subscribe button to see one like it every god darn day. Whoa. And the notifications too, so you're told whenever we upload a video. Thanks for watching and safe diving. Bye. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.